We are back again and again and again. I told you that we don't stop. I thought I told you that we don't stop. Chris Rock was the best for that. What's going on, man? This is Baron J67. I'm, I'm T. Jones. See, about to rock out again <laughs> with the X. The X, T. Jones. the X is just a placeholder. T. Jones wasn't available. And I've been rocking with the X, T. Jones thing for all my platforms because I like to be uniform uniform so and you know t funny? jones is the name and you know what's funny um for anybody um, out there gonna do anything um even if you don't have any plans of doing any type of social media or starting up a business the best thing you can do for yourself and i actually got this from sway in the morning shout out to sway like sway. he's gonna listen i know he's gonna listen because sway you the real sway. but make all your social media the same so that and make sure to have it something unique but manageable, not like a uh, booty hump or slash liquor <laughs> yeah. 55. No, you not you, that first email address you made. Yeah, that when you were and, a kid. And, yeah, not that email address from middle school or your aim account. But what no, do you remember yours? Yeah, I actually what's sad is I still use my middle my first email address. Really? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mine was man. Mine. That was a long time. I can't even remember. I can't remember none of them. <laughs> it's sad. I just I, only remember my adult ones. <laughs> right? Okay. But make all your social media and everything the same because it'll be easier to market. Like for me, you search Baron J67 and you will find nothing but stuff about Baron J67. Mm -hmm. Whether it's my YouTube, whether it's my um, Twitter, whether it's my Instagram, it will all Patreon. pop up. Patreon account. The plug, man. You better plug plugging. your plug. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. <laughs> um, but no, it's just that that's been the best advice that I've ever gotten from uh, just overheard on uh, Sirius XM. But my bad. I'm going to shut up now. No, nah, we're good, man. I, so we decided we were going to talk about our setups and um, what we actually use on a daily basis when it comes yeah. to our gaming uh, so I guess I could start off. Uh, you you kind of went in depth with yours. I'm I'm looking at your little. I know I had to take notes because I'm still learning. So like, this is like Japanese. Yeah, me. It, I mean it is. You have to, but see, you have to learn it. So like for me, I just I just got a laptop. Just got a gaming laptop. It's an Asus ROG 503. It has an Intel i7. I'm sorry, with a 700 7700 uh, megahertz or is it megahertz? I want to say it's gigahertz. Giga, no. Gigahertz would be like my 2.8. That's oh, the second part to it. Ah, look at me, yeah. man. Look, look at, at me. Yeah. They say you know something if you can teach it. <laughs> then I got a, a a NVIDIA or yeah, so um your graphics card. My graphics card is the new NVIDIA G4 GTX uh 1060. Yep. And uh that's what I rock with, man. I haven't gamed on it yet, but I've been use it's I use it for productivity. I use it for editing. I use it for everything on the and it's a 15 inch laptop. Okay. So they make like this is like the higher end version of that laptop. Yeah. So um they have like a the 703 which is a 17 inch mm -hmm. and the 17 inch um has the same graphics card, same everything in it. The only difference is actually the only difference is in screen size. Everything else is completely the same. And it's crazy because what was it like five hundred more? Yeah. And but the only yeah. thing is difference you're getting two more inches. Yeah, I'm like god damn man. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I was looking for the seventeen inch because of how I wanted to have my setup. And speaking of that, I will be doing a setup video soon. Once I get my stuff together, I'm gonna do a pre setup video because I'm getting kicked out of my gaming room for my son. So. There you yeah, go. And congrats on booted. that. Thank you, sir. Thank right. you. Thank okay. You. So moving over. Oh, and you also use your Elgato capture ah, card. Elgato capture card as my capture card. Yes. Capture all of my stuff. But I, t to be honest, I don't use the the program as much as I used to. I just use OBS. Mm. OBS. Oh, duh. Didn't talk about that. Yeah. yeah so OBS is is the open broad open broadcaster open. Open broadcast yeah. service? Is it system? Source. 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 Ah. And I we I use that to stream. I use that to record. Um still trying to work through the settings enough to to get it right. I'm trying to get it right enough to for me to stream. Um it's not perfect. I can't go 1080p 60 frames out the gate, 4K, all of that. I can't do all none of that right now. But 
Um, I'm trying to get it right still, so we still are we're still working on it on a daily basis. I'm still making adjustments to it. And you know what's trippy about that? It's funny how even though we have all these great capabilities, we have all this awesome tech in front of us. They actually recommend that you don't go over uh, what is it seven seven twenty or seven twenty. My yeah, bad. you don't go over seven twenty because most people out in the world and on their phone, they're not going to be watching a ten eighty ten eighty video. Hey, on what, the go. I'm gonna tell you something though. Whenever, a, whenever a, a 60 frame second per second, whenever I'm home and I'm connected to my internet, and a, somebody's playing a 1080p 60 frames per second, the quality you can see the shift in it, and you can see it. It gets like real smooth. It look like butter. I'm like, dang yeah. man, it's real cool. So, um, but to, that's, yeah, go ahead. To get to that point, you need the equipment for it. Yep. So why destroy yourself? And be frustrated with the way your stream looks because you're trying to overclock it, i.e. me. I'm that guy. <laughs> so, He's like, oh, so I can run this at unlimited frames? Well, let's reach that hey, unlimited I'm not, number. I'm not going to lie. I got a new laptop, and I went haywire. I went everything. 1080p, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Fucking CPU's <laughs> running at 99%. 30, He's all watching a music video. 3,500-bit 30, 30, rate. <laughs> He's like, and go. <laughs> Oh Jesus, <laughs> that, man! That that to me was that was an experience. Um, then I realized, like, I, yo, I'm overdoing it. Like, stop overdoing it. So I still rock with the basic of the basic until I can get to a point where I can provide the best of the best for myself. Because mm -hmm. this is something that I enjoy doing. So now, okay, now in seeing and hearing your setup, what are some things that you didn't realize you were going to need that you now need, or that you needed? once you started streaming and editing and all that proper hdmi cables <laughs> right? proper hdmi cables because when you when you get these basic flimsy and it, it to be honest these basic flimsy hdmi cables that aren't 60 hertz that that uh you know you, you're you, you start kicking yourself because you're not expecting the cable to be the problem and the cable has been the problem in some cases with me um Knowing the difference between a Thunderbolt C port Ooh. and a 3.0 port, and throwing the difference between whatever you you know those those Man. type of things make a difference. So, um, you know, right now I'm trying to I'm trying to get to a minimal a minimalist setup, a, a, a setup where I can train I can unhook my laptop from it and go about my day, and then when I want to sit down at my station. I can connect and just, you know, work off my laptop without looking at the screen or playing with the keyboard on it. Um, another thing is um, uh, actually a good mic. Most of the time, the mic that you get with your headphones, with your headsets, they're, they're good enough to for you to talk to your chat, but they're not good enough for people to listen to you. No. So I have a Astro A40s and, oh, this, this, this headset is the best. I bought it because I got a deal on it. And, and then it came with the mix amp. If I had to go back, I would just buy the mix amp and just get me a cheap pair of headphones. Because the mic, in my opinion, the mic isn't what... If I could record from my headset, do everything from my headset, I'd be perfect. Yeah. With most headsets that I found, I can't do it. I had Turtle Beaches. I've had those. I can't record from it because I do not like the audio. So right now, I rock a Snowball, and that gets the job done. I, I'm not quite... I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Got you. So, um, yeah, it's it's the little the little things that is what gets me. So, I think the most important, the most thing that got me that I had to switch up was my cables. Uh, and and you know what? Jumping over to uh, jumping over to my setup, uh, cables are a big part. Actually, something that was big for me was my uh, was a three point uh, USB drive mm. and having to get a proper three point USB drive extender yeah and you don't realize how many ports you need until you're trying to stream because especially you when you're working off of a laptop. laptop oh my gosh you need your hdmi you need your uh mouse Ethernet, and keyboard. your mouse and keyboard yeah. your uh your L your capture card your uh man it gets it your external hard drive because you do not want to put all that recording 
on your uh, on your, on laptop. your laptop, and because of course your laptop, like all other things, has a finite memory source. But you don't want to bog it down with a bunch of like. If I unplug my uh, external hard drive, my laptop is bare. Yeah, there's, it is. You can't like you start. You go to load up Premiere, and it says locate Lo- files. Yeah, everything's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, that's the same way yeah, mine's is set up. My laptop turns into a zombie. Yeah. Once you unplug that external hard drive, and I know it runs better and my CPU usage is way low Mm -hmm. for that. But now let me describe what I'm working with. So, uh, and I'm reading because I'm, of course, don't know all of this by heart. So I have an Omen HP laptop, uh, seventh generation i7 uh, Intel uh, processor, 7700 processor. I got a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card. And... Um, the dopest part of my whole setup with that laptop, because I, I freaking love it. I game on it. I, actually, before I started streaming, I gamed like crazy on it. I, I literally bought it for games only. I wouldn't let my family use it for nothing else. They couldn't. Can I check my paper. email? No. They couldn't t- check their email because I'm so you used can't. to. I'm so used to my computer getting so many viruses and and I spent so much money on it and I was like, I am not. Nope, you cannot touch it you mm-hmm. can't don't even my family family out there listening you guys know and you're probably laughing because it is that serious i'll i would have probably take the time to go buy you a laptop before <laughs> i let you touch my laptop like don't touch my laptop hey bb can i use your laptop right? can please? i use your laptop it's my last one now we'll get you one <laughs> no nah, let's go to the store real quick let's make just pay me back when you get it uh but man. um but i've i mean i've ran everything from xcom to uh, Star Wars Knights of the Republic. Um, what else? I, I haven't. I don't think I've played any major shooters on there. Okay. Um, shooters aren't really. That's not my number one thing. I usually play shooters on console. Yeah. But um, see, uh, man, I don't know. I, I I see the way shooters work on um, on on PC, and it it's very attractive. Oh, it's beautiful. It because the way they move, Bro, you know, the way they're able being to able snap. to pinpoint any little. M- if your Man. ankle is poking out behind a wall, I can shoot your I can ankle. Shoot you with <laughs> precision. Yeah. Yep. Man, I, I, and that's that's and this is a part of the conversation today that I will be attempting to make the switch to console gaming or to PC gaming. or PC gaming. I'm sorry, I'm already on console gaming. I've proved my my uh, skills over there enough. I have time to right. jump into a different world. <laughs> oh, the master race. Yeah, I'm like gold t- or. Di- or Platinum tier now. What's which was higher? Diamond? I think it's diamond. Diamonds are diamond yeah. tier on anything. And, and you you know what, man? I'm I'm actually looking forward to making that full jump. I just remember as a kid how intense it used to be. Because remember in PC cafes or internet cafes. Wait, I used dog. to love those things. We had one, I want to say it was called Red Dragon. Mm-hmm. And um it was the dopest thing ever. You go in there, spend your so and so amount per hour. You would dump a bunch on, and you would just sit in there and play Diablo, yeah, Counter Strike, um, Quake was Quake. my thing, man. Yeah, Quake um, and Doom. Yep. Uh, what else did I play? I think Half Life was around that time too. Mm-hmm. But you would just sit in there and run it, and the community was dope. Everybody was modding and having fun, and people would put overlay maps in, like, "Oh, hey, so you don't have to keep plugging this. Let me add this to your thing real mm-hmm. quick," and boom, and it was just Diablo two and Balls of Revenge. Like, it, yeah. it was dope but when it came to that competitive or not even competitive the online like shooting community it was in like there was yeah, no a, i wasn't ready for that as a kid it was out the gate it was competitive yeah it was just and it would just be us in a little land party like yeah. it was raw it you seen that videos going around on facebook uh, with the Fortnite, they're all in the same house playing Fortnite. They get, dude gets mad. <laughs> they get mad at each other because uh, they they didn't win, and they oh. were like top. It was something. They were like top five or whatever, and they lost. And the dude gets up and walks out. He's like, "I told you not to go over there." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny, man. It's it's funny. We've been seeing me. It's a gang of memes now on oh, Fortnite. Yes, it's a gang of memes. But yeah, you're even now, like even to see competitive even to see shooters get competitive like like battle royale games get yeah. competitive teams and yes. have tournaments and prize pools we've gone we've come a long way hell yeah we have and and it's always been there i hate to talk like this stuff is new mm. the competitiveness the the batting the batting da, 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 da. it's not that it's new it's more accessible yeah now you can shit boot up do it i see people on twitter all day hey looking for eights 
Uh, money I'm age. For, yeah, we're, I'm looking for a squad so we can run money age. Yeah. Um, I need a, a, what do they call the guy who sits in the back on Call of Duty? Anchor uh, or I need, a, a, a AR. I need an AR. I need, a, uh, I need two attackers. Sub yeah. and, a, and, a, and a, a sub and um an OBJ. Yeah, they all day on Twitter. All yeah. day. That's all I see. Yeah. All day. Know, retweets. That the retweets, yep. man. They retweet everything. They retweet everything. But we, our setups aren't perfect. I'm gonna True. say that, right? especially mine. Our setup, my setup, isn't perfect. But it, it, it I want to get it to a point where I'm, I feel good about it. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we continue to add little things here, a longer Ethernet cable. Oh my god, <laughs> bro. I okay. So the dopest thing I got for Christmas was a hundred dollar Amazon gift card, okay. right? So I, I collect figures. So I was ready to blow that a hundred dollar Amazon gift card on pop figures, Figma, Good Smile figures. Yeah, there's this Metal Gear Solid figure I've been looking at. I was gonna get Solid Snake mm -hmm. and blah 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 blah, or an Ocelot with his pistols. Oh, like man. I was so ready, and then I thought about. It. I was like, no, I need stuff for my my setup. Setup, and. I ended up getting, a, okay, so I had to get a uh, HDMI splitter. Okay, yeah. Well, I had need to, one that of was mandatory. Especially if you got multiple consoles. Right, with a switchboard. And then I ended up picking up a USB, uh, USB 3.0 extender. Okay. And thank God I found one that doesn't need a, um, a, power. a power outlet yeah. because I'm running... <laughs> you got like all outlets are used. <laughs> got uh, no outlets in this room. Yeah, because I actually put my router and my uh, my uh, damn it my network uh, the router modem? and the modem. I put my router and modem in the same room, so they're plugged in here because I want the best of the best of the best. Yeah. I want the internet. I to will be not the, be robbed. Yeah, I will <laughs> not be robbed. Oh, then I had to buy a. Uh, an Ethernet splitter to plug in everything oh, through there. Oh, man. Bro, my room is wired. Damn, man. And everything is just wires everywhere. And then you got the wire for your mic, and then you got the wires for your... Because, um, you of course, you got to run wired uh, keyboard and mouse. You of can't, course. You don't want to risk lag and delay. Yeah. Especially when you're gaming. I will not be wrong. I will not be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on no day. way. <laughs> but, hey. It's crazy. So, but the dopest, honestly, the dopest part of my setup for me is my monitor. I have an Asus 24-inch uh, LED monitor with a one millisecond response, uh, time. Uh, response time mm -hmm. and 144 hertz refresh rate. Oh, that's a monster. And I will. I told everybody I refuse to buy TVs anymore because uh -huh. I always thought you had to buy the new hot TV. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm gaming off of monitors from now on. Yeah. Like, if I buy anything else, because my TVs that I got are good enough to last for another good five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to live like a caveman. Sorry, I'm not running 4K, 3D, blah 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 blah. Shit, I'm trying to uh, find me a LCD. Right. <laughs> <laughs> man. I'm trying to find Dude, me. Remember a... how hot those? Th was it the, L uh, yes, the LCDs man. that would get hot? I got an LCD at the house now. That I'm seeing hey. like a 42 inch and Bro. it burns up. Bro. My wall be feeling all extra hot. Paint all peeling. Man, I'll be like, damn, man. <laughs> Gotta put a fan back there to make sure My it wife's gonna cooler. say, you're not gonna mount this so we can burn, burn our house, the house down? down so the house can catch on fire. Hell no, nah, ah. man. This, we gotta keep this 10 inches away from the wall. Oh, man. And then put it needs all behind the, it. You gotta make sure to dust it because yeah. it runs hot. It get hot. The it get LEDs hot. These run hot. And you can feel it. Like, I know the room we're in now, it's it's not well ventilated, mm -hmm. so I can only imagine. Yeah, the LCD, LED. Oh, man. You my God. God. Pulling my collar. <laughs> no, nope. I'd have to have a fan blowing away from it, pulling the heat yeah, out yeah. the damn room just to create circulation. But it is, it's, it's important to know what you need. Yes. And the, and the one thing, we've had this conversation too, is that the one place I would always try to avoid is the place of wanting new stuff because yeah. it came out you know man you you will kill yourself off big time mm -hmm. trying to keep up with the joneses yeah like it, it gets it, it gets really it gets expensive man every Hell time yeah. something new comes out me personally when it comes to me buying technology um and this happened honestly after that um uh, after the xbox okay. and really the rise of the iphone that's really what it what caught my eye about it is kicking back and waiting a generation yeah 
Because I got burned with the 360. Remember when it was the Red Ring of Death? Oh, and yeah. And burning rings in the Damn, people's disc? Yeah. I got hit with that. Damn. I had to send my Xbox to uh, to the actual manufacturer, uh, to Microsoft, I think three times. Mm. Damn, Yeah, crazy. It, man, you got I learned how to take the faceplate off. And, I mean, like, it was hard. But yeah. It just... The line to fix it. Let me fix it myself, No, man. so, Pete, this. So, I'll never forget it. I'm on the phone with Microsoft talking to the tech because you had to go through a tech and then they would send you a confirmation like, oh yeah, we're going to mail you your box to mail it in. So I'm sitting there making my complaint and then all of a sudden, my Xbox working while I'm talking to him. I was like, oh, well, it's working right now. He was like, oh, well, if it's working now, there's nothing I can do. Oh, it just broke. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, sir, I was like, yeah, it just <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was yeah, working. It was working a second ago, but it's just it's doing it right now. Uh, red rings and all. And like, I was like, nope, I'm not about to hang up no. and then have it break on me again. Yeah, but then wait the extra time yeah, to get back. But that was because I had a first generation day one, Xbox. and so now when it comes to um, consoles, major uh, major purchases like TVs and stuff like that, I tend to kick back and wait a generation. Like yeah. I don't have the Xbox One X. I want it. Yeah. Why though? Why would I do it when I have this laptop? I don't know because I'm yeah. special. But I'm gonna wait a generation or two. Yeah. I'm gonna wait. Maybe I'll see it this Christmas. I mm. didn't pick it up this this past Christmas. But you probably pick maybe it up this I'll Christmas. pick it up this Christmas. Yeah. Or they'll come out with a dope bundle, or mm. they'll come out with a, an oh, elite smaller version. Of yeah. It, yeah. Or, yeah. Slim you version. Know, a slim version. There's gonna be so much. That's just how it goes. Yeah. And then you deal with less technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. Like you deal with less tech problems. By yeah. Getting the when they work out the kinks. Of course. Yeah. See me. I I just how I try to how I avoid that is I just hey, it work. Cool. It's, wow. good. it's good for me right you know and and getting stuff that i actually need like a laptop like going out and getting me a laptop yeah. going out and getting me a going out and getting me two monitors those are things that i need to make it better for me yep you know what i'm saying and the reason why i want it better for me is i want it i want to feel so comfortable that i can push the power button and just sit down and go yep you know i don't want to have to okay let me check let me Mike check one two one two and I don't want yeah. to do all of that. I want to be yep. able to just sit down, go, and know it's going to work. And know it's gonna work. And so, that's and it is a hell of a feeling, man. Like I, I agree with you. Like my little battle station. So I didn't even finish what I got. So okay. So I got my Omen laptop. I have my Asus uh twenty four inch monitor. And of course I'm running on my Magnavox tv so me i work with a system of my laptop my tv and a monitor mm -hmm. um i don't i want to get to a point where i got multiple monitors and i can move my tv further over and kind of just have that for when my kids are in here hanging out yeah and i'm just working straight from my monitor um but at this point that's what i got and it's more than good enough and i'm gonna ride it until the wheels fall off until i come across another good deal on some monitors yeah and um then of course i have the um lifted ventilation uh fans for my laptop because it's sitting on a a pelt or uh, card table a card table yeah um, some spades right place for spades <laughs> actually i suck at spades man hey i seen the craziest uh post when it came to uh spades this guy said spades and i'm sorry i don't know uh, giving the proper uh shout outs but he said spades is one of those games where you get a brief moment in your life where you learn to play because you hit you're too young to play and then real quick it turns into you're too old to teach yeah <laughs> like, yeah that, I, we're at that age of we're too old to too teach. old to teach yeah. me i know the bare basics but my family take it way too serious which i think everybody's family takes it way yep. too serious. and dominoes yeah oh no i can play some damn dominoes. Yeah, I, can play dominoes. I can play dominoes yeah but i cannot Spades, I can't keep up. Mm -hmm. People, people get way too. Uh -uh. How many books? Nah, my nah, partner gotta make yeah, a decision. My part, how many books you got? <laughs> well, what do you got? I'm like, I wish three. I could show you. Dog. Really? Why are you selling short? And then it ended up having six books. Yeah, you were calling it like no. <laughs> now you reneging. And yeah, <laughs> like uh, uh, <laughs> my bad. Can you carry me? Can we lose on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> There's only what, what is it? Thirteen books total. Uh, uh, don't get to quote uh, me. Yeah, don't quote don't me. Sound either, terrible. I'm, I, I, Correct I, us in the comments for those who play spades. How many books you can get? Controller and soon to be keyboard is my reign. Right. <laughs> okay. So that that's what I'm working with. And then of course, oh dude. When you guys are doing this type of setup, um, if you anybody out there getting ready to jump into streaming or anything like that, don't go broke trying to buy the best of the best of the best. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to yourself, especially when you start now, because you never know if you're even gonna like it. Yep. Um 
me, I picked up a gaming mouse and keyboard that has been carrying me pretty damn good so far. And I play a lot of different stuff. Mountain Blade, League of Legends, blah, 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 blah. And it's been super dope uh, through the Habit series of the Habit gaming on Amazon. There, it was a $30 mouse and keyboard set. It's got the back lights, breathing lights, blah, 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 all that other good stuff. It's pretty dope. And I know I keep saying blah, 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 like I'm watching Transylvania. <laughs> I have kids, man. Got and kids. And I'm actually, I'm actually excited for the new Transylvania. Uh, they announced a hotel Transylvania movie. Two? The movie? No, is, I think they announced four. Is it going to be three or four? I don't know, man. There's so many. many. Yeah. It, I thought it was gonna, I thought we were at two. No, nah, but two that was one out. was so big that yeah, it was right, and they're actually coming out with another one. Yeah, that's it, crazy. Yeah, Adam Sandler out there doing it. Adam Sandler is the man. I love it. Why do people hate Adam Sandler? I don't know. I, I <laughs> okay. I I don't know. There's a lot of people out there, and it's more so in the community because people I talk to, nobody, I don't hear anybody vocalized to me i hate adam sandler movies but you go and you look at his movies and get crappy ratings mm -hmm. the man makes amazing that, movies blended is happy blended is, was dope it, that is one of the funniest blended adam was sandler dope. movies we're blending <laughs> like if i see terry cruz in a wig one more time <laughs> terry cruz better cut it out man him and his wig game shit. man is strong <laughs> Even in Idiocracy, when he had the blonde wig on, uh -huh. when he was the wrestler, the wrestler slash president. Hey man, God. what other he did? Well, Billy Madison, that was a classic. Oh, of course. Um, Little Nicky. Little Nick. Oh my God, he's like I'm from the deep south. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Adam Mr. Sandler's dope. beefy. Yeah, Adam, uh, Adam Sandler was, dope. and then his crew he was dope, dope too. Yeah, because he always rocked with this. Even like, uh, what was it? What was the movie he did with uh, Kevin James? Not the not the game one. Grown Ups. Grown Ups. Grown Ups one yep. and Grown Ups one and two was dope. He had and he always keeps the same group of mm -hmm. actors, and those guys make funny ass movies too. Yep. Like uh, Grandma's Boy. It was, oh my god! Did I haven't you, seen that. You haven't seen Grandma's Boy? No, I haven't seen that. Oh my god! You need to go see Grandma's Boy ASAP. So we're not gonna talk about that anymore. No, he needs no. to see Grandma's I'm, Boy. I'm gonna go watch it immediately. Okay, but speaking on stuff, watching or what we're watching. So yes, I know I'm super late. Not as late as missing out on Grandma's Boy, but I'm actually watching The Punisher right now, mm. and I'm on like episode four. You will not be disappointed. I love this damn show. So let me ask you a question. Since, since we've We've seen Daredevil. You've seen Daredevil, yes. right? You've seen... You're watching Punisher. I've seen everything leading up to this. Okay. But did but what haven't you seen Marvel and Netflix-wise? I've seen everything leading up so to this. So you've seen them all. Yes. Okay. I've only seen a couple. I haven't... I, or, I'm sorry. I have... I'm only missing Jessica Jones, The Defenders, and uh, Iron Fist. Right? Okay. Everything I So you're, you're kind of missing like the last half. Okay. Good time frame-wise. Time frame-wise. Yes. Perfect. What I, where would you rank Punisher, out of Daredevil, both seasons of Daredevil, okay, Luke Cage, so just all of them, just all the Marvel, I guess Netflix. all of them, yeah, okay, so because I haven't seen first would be Dare the first season of Daredevil that'd be number one, really? and not only not because it's the first, but because it was the first time I watched a superhero get exhausted. Oh yeah, okay. That, makes that sense. hallway fight scene. He was is, sitting in there. And he, he was throwing his body. And, yeah. yeah, bro. And it was a single shot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like for me, I love wide shots and I love single shot action scenes. Yeah. Old boy. Um, what other movies do it? I want to say Logan did a couple, but these open wide shot, single shot scenes are some of the most amazing things to me. And then it's it does a good good job of making you care about the bad guy. Mm. You actually feel for the bad guy and you like, understand where they're coming from yeah, and why. Not that it's right, not you're not rationalizing it, but you understand where they stand. So, yeah. okay, so one would be Daredevil, two, I would say Jessica Jones. Really? Oh, no, take that back. I'm sorry. I would say Punisher, okay, just from what I've seen so far, just because of how much action it is and um, how detailed it is in the uh, his flashbacks. Yeah, his flashbacks and his nightmares. Some of the most I I love whimsical cinematic shots. Yeah, I take I I swear I should have been in film. 
I, I took one art history class on film and it blew my mind and it changed the way I look at everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to say it was Mr. Ramirez. Thank you. He truly changed the way I look at movies. I look at building structures. Yeah. It was a damn art history class and we looked at everything from just everything. So seeing how his him bouncing back and forth from his nightmares and then the way uh his fights are and just how it jumps in and out of his head i fucking love it and that's mm. all I'm, like i said i'm only four episodes in yeah and it feel they feel a lot longer than every other sh- uh shows yeah. oh they are oh they, they are. are they are they oh they are they're long okay i don't i thought now, i was just tripping maybe i was just really into it but i thought i was on the second episode and it was like episode two loading yeah i was like wait what was like, like, still one yeah like no, it they're felt, it they're really long. long. I want to say they're like forty-five to fifty minutes, they, aren't they? You know what? Yeah, they're long and they move fast. Yes. So it like covers ground. Yeah, it, it really it really is soaring. Like yeah. it really is just going. So like when you're watching it, um, and I'll, I'm not going to ruin anything. When you're watching it, as you're watching it, you'll re- you'll be realizing like, damn, they're still on this part. Yep. Or like, damn, they wait past this part. Yep. Like man, they, they're really flying past some yep. stuff. It does slow down. Yeah. It does slow down like any show does throughout the season. Um, but this is what, twelve episodes and it literally And feels... I feel I, I man, I feel like I'm watching like Game of Thrones specials. Yeah. And so... not in a bad way. Not and like I'm not saying that it feels like too much. Mm-hmm. It just feels like they gave us a lot. It's a lot. And it, I it's like a, it. But you it's it's a lot, but you can keep up with mm-hmm. it. There you go. And um, okay, so now moving on from that, I would then say Jessica Jones. Mm. Now Jessica Jones, it it they did a really good job of. I like when TV shows that are built around comic books don't make it clear that you're watching a comic book TV show. I I love that. Like when I watched Jessica Jones, I didn't get that strong feeling that I'm watching a superhero TV show. Okay, it was like. I felt like I was watching something else, and then somehow, some way, this girl got powers. Yeah, and she used them every now and then, mm. only when she'd be fighting or drunk, busting through her door or whatever. But it it gave me a different vibe, and it felt like a good walk away from the whole Marvel universe while still keeping you there. Oh, okay, so it was it was it's refreshing, mm. and that's why I put it at um I put it at number three, and then number four I would put um Daredevil uh Daredevil season two. Really? Yeah. And then um, jumping from there, I would, because um, it's kind of more or less the same thing, but I didn't want to put their, you know. Yeah, one, yeah, two. of course. No. Of course. And then after that, I would put Luke Cage. At five. Now, I, now I'm going to put Luke Cage at five in this big scheme of things, more or less, because it felt um, it felt like they wrote the, uh, what, what what were those old movies called? The black exploitation. Like, I felt like they kind of pushed it. it. It seemed cheesy. Mm-hmm. It had its dope ass moments, but I felt like they rode them a little, a little too hard. Like they pushed the first big black superhero running through this neighborhood. Like they pushed that a little too harder much, yeah. than they had to. Because I mean, you ain't gotta sell it. It's a fucking Luke Cage. This dude's a and legend. it's in Harlem. Yeah, it's in Harlem. Like you don't have to oversell the fact that I'm dealing with a black neighborhood, black superhero. You yeah. don't have to over. You think it was because of the time? I think that's exactly what happened. I think it was a product of the time frame, which yeah. when you look at it from that lens, it was perfect. Yeah. It was what we needed. I was pumped mm. when not to see it. But looking back on it, pulling away from that scope and actually just looking at it from a whole under what would I watch over again? Yeah. I'm going to watch Daredevil and Punisher before I watch Luke Cage again. Of course. And that's just that's just my... I think a lot of people would agree with you yeah. on your 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 choice. I think the one thing with that list or the 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 one change I would make, or actually better be three, I'd put uh, season two Daredevil first, Punisher one, and then Daredevil three in the same spot where you had. Oh, you put Daredevil or Daredevil one. one in you like season two better than season two of Daredevil, and I I tell people this too. You can argue the fact of season two and Punisher. You can argue them being yeah. number one. Yeah, and uh, the introduction I, of Punisher was very only up. reason why only reason why I put Daredevil the same fact that you're talking about how the, the these these one shot angles yeah that scene where he was in jail and he had to fight them people in that little hallway yeah. 
man. I was like, yo, he did it. He, had, he was covered in blood. And then when the when the camera zooms out and he rolls over and he's laying, laying on, on all these dead bodies. Yep. I said, nah. That no, was, that, that, that was, was it was dope. And then the how the story played into the Daredevil and Punisher and how they come to meet. And and then it was a the crazy part about it is based off this story, Punisher was superior to Daredevil. True. He was superior. He literally w- beat him up. Like yeah. it it was like stay down type yeah, type deal. Like you're done. And what made that dope to me is the fact that the the hero couldn't do nothing about it. Yep, he so had to he, just roll with it. He had to just roll with the punches. And, and that's and I think I was just doing it out of um to be as fair as possible. Of course, yeah. And um, But you can still argue it. Yeah. Like I said, you yeah. can argue. Yeah. And I, I think my only argument to that would be the reason why I put Daredevil season one is because it introduced those things in his world first. Of course. In the terms of the fight scenes and him being a human. Like him, uh, yeah. Him. Okay, so all right. When you say that, that's like somebody. That's like my wife getting into comics. Yes. Right. We. I know the history behind yes. Daredevil. I seen the movie. I read some comics on him. But when I, from a person that's already knew that, I didn't care about that. That's why. Yeah. So that's the difference. So yeah. yeah okay. I can understand that. Got you. And um. Okay. And so we got to continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cap that bottom part off with Iron Fist mm. and no no um, it's a it's a mix between I actually let, let's pause for a second I enjoyed Iron Fist okay I see why it got a lot of hate but I think it got a lot I think it got more hate than it should have because of once again the, the racial climate and oh we get to see a rich white kid Again, come back that and even though that was it, his backstory is his backstory. Yeah, you can't. This is something that was created years ago. I want to say over thirty years ago. Yeah, yeah. You, Iron, you can't. You know, you can't. You, you can't get mad at his backstory that already existed. Like just yeah. because of the racial climate and everything we're dealing with in today's world. But that's what his. That's what his story was. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like he got a lot of back. That show got a lot of backlash for that. And then yes, he was an awkward character. He was hard to watch. Like the whole I'm rich but I'm a kid like but then I can kick ass on a astronomical level but then my fighting isn't the, the top tier and it sound like the kids of like Man Rage Netflix or... Netflix or not Netflix show that was Cartoon Network I believe Oh, they had the Iron Man show when he was a kid in college. Yeah, he's Iron Man. Yeah, and it, it was so like you like, had kid problems. But yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, it, it just it. It's it didn't do well in painting that picture. It seemed uh-huh. super cheesy and out of place. But so now begs the question. So after Luke Cage, what do I jump to? Do I put Defenders or do I put? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say Defenders and I'm gonna say Iron Fist. Now the Def- reason why I put the Defenders so low is it um not it didn't feel rushed, but it felt it felt rushed. I, I felt like it was rushed. They, uh, they. I get it though because they're assuming that everybody watching it watched all the other Netflix. Shows. Yeah, of course. So I don't have to reintroduce everybody. I don't have to throw you backstory because that's what these whole series were about. I think and they... now it's just these Netflix Marvel characters coming together. Yeah. And, um. And then why did why did Iron Fist have to be? the sucker again like mm-hmm. not only did he have a rough time in his own show <laughs> he got but then rough. he had a rough time into the defenders uh-huh. like the dude was just a liability the whole show and he just it, i don't know it, i think you need that it's like a robin yeah you, <laughs> oh damn robin damn. is a liability yeah. man as a batman fan robin's always fucking up man you know what's trippy did you see that uh i want to say it was batman dark metal or metal dark or whatever where it, it was a fusion of joker becoming the batman no okay well all the robins he has a bunch of kid robins with him who and joker the the batman who is joker but it's, it's like a fusion yeah and they say crow all day they say crow that's all they say crow mm. throughout the whole comic every panel you see him on crow crow and then i want to say at a random at a random panel they say bar and you remember what happened no when the joker kidnapped uh, Robin and beat him to a pulp with a crowbar. Oh, okay. Oh, and, wow. That's yeah, why it I'm was sorry. dark. It was dark as shit. Like, I get his goosebumps when I... Yeah. You well, know. I remember when when uh, Robin became the Joker. 
Like I remember oh, that. Oh, that car, the animated movie. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. When he, and I, when he, when, when well, he put the DNA in him or something like that. Well, he kidnapped him, and then remember they thought jo- they thought Joker died, and yeah. then Joker came back, but it wasn't really Joker. What was that? That wasn't the Killing Joke. Uh, Killing Joke was dope. I actually, a lot of people Which, didn't like the Killing Joke. Was it the Red Hood that? Batman, Robin got mad that he wanted Batman it to was kill. Red Hood. Yeah. yeah, he wanted. He that wanted was a Robin. dope scene. That was a dope. You know, you know what made me really love Batman um, was when he went to uh, when he went to he threatened Darkseid by he told Darkseid, "I'm gonna destroy the whole planet. Mm-hmm. Either stop what you're doing, or I'll kill everything." I want to say it was Dark Darkseid, and Darkseid was like no other creature. No other being or species. Oh, when he, he went this. to his world, he went to his yeah, world. yeah. I remember and he was that. Like Superman wouldn't have did this. No, nobody. Wonder Woman that. wouldn't have did this. He was like, but you, I'm a, a human. You would have done this. I'm gonna tell you everything to make sure. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what put what put Batman in perspective for me was when the Justice League found out he had contingency plans against all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he was like, yeah, but there's not there's nothing in here for you. <laughs> He was and and but you gotta understand yeah. it. He, and he explains it to him. You guys are all aliens and yeah, superpowers. Can, yeah, if you don't think he the you're only a he the only human a part of this group. But but he that wasn't even the main issue of him being a human. Mm-hmm. He was like, you guys all single handedly could take over this planet. Of course, you all single handedly can kill and destroy uh, everything and conquer. We've, we've all seen Superman go evil. Evil. Yep. Injustice. That yeah. whole story. We've line. all seen. Yeah. That. Like so. We all we need to have that contingency plan, and the fact that he's dope enough to have that much foresight, mm-hmm. like any of y'all, can become a threat. But he, but he's always had that. This is why he's never in, like he's never in a losing situation. But let me tell you this: there was a post that was going around that asked, "Would you rather be a, um, would you rather be an Avenger or part of the Justice League?" And I said, in somebody's argument, because I said, "Oh, dude, I would rather join." Uh, the Avengers. Yeah, me that, too. that I would rather join the Avengers. And they were like, oh, but they got a lot more government, uh, like government taking over and being a part of them. Mm-hmm. I was like, that is very true. Because you got true. everything from S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, you have uh, the actual physical government, uh, the U.S. government and nations a getting part involved. Of it, yeah. um, I mean, Civil War, da 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 da. But I told them this. I was like, I'd rather deal with a government that I can just break rules against and what they're going to do. Mm-hmm didn't have to worry about Batman seeing me as a threat. <laughs> and everybody was like, you're right. <laughs> and then I felt like Avengers throw better parties. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I feel like I'd have more fun with the Avengers than I would. Yeah, I think there's more There's more life in the Avengers. Yeah, like... If it, you ask me. Yeah, the like... Justice League are too... They're too, like, slick talk. Like, yeah, like... Like, y'all always talk. got something smart to say. Like, yeah. ain't nobody trying to hear that all day. Like, the... That's why I like Beast Boy so much. Yes, we, we, I love Beast Boy so much because he he was like the in, the bounce. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I think I would choose the Avengers too. I think the Avengers is the way to go. Yeah, you ask me. I, I mean, if I had, and then I don't have to worry about Batman. So let me uh, seeing me as a threat. So now, since we have a podcast, right? Yes. Since we're adults, yes. things like that. If you had to have one superpower, one what would superpower. it be? Um, and I can't pick the power to have all powers. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. we're not playing that game. <laughs> we're not playing that one, man. We're not doing I that. I wish I had a million wishes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Not my millionth wish. I wish I had all All right, so let's wishes. make it even better. If you had to choose two powers to Two have, abilities. Two abilities, what would it be? Okay, so it would be the ability to teleport wherever I want. Okay, see? Okay. Hey, two brains. Yeah. Like. <laughs> um, and then the ability to read minds. Mm, really? When I want, ah. not all the time, <laughs> not every that, day. Because I mean, we could play devil's advocate. That whole thing of well, shit, that sounds like a terrible ability. Because yeah. what if I mean, have, look, what if I'm having a nightmare and all of a sudden I teleport? And, <laughs> no, I fucking teleport into a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Like you would have to. So you would have to master it. I would have just to like just it. like Spider Man when he got the Spidey sense. Yep. And he's hearing everything. Yeah. He had to control it. You have to control it. All right, so my two is to be able to teleport wherever I want and to be able to transform into any animal that I possibly want. Oh. I said, I was thinking McCall about this. Maui. I was thinking about this <laughs> last night, I swear to God. I was walking from loading this truck, and I said, man, if I could be, if I could pick. It, my, matter of fact, 
my first one would be to be able to transform into any animal possible. Okay. I was like, because imagine, I'll be ruler of air, land, and sea. That is true. <laughs> I, I could potentially be ruler of yeah. air, land, and sea. Yep. Like, nothing can hold me. Yeah. I, I could become plankton. <laughs> right? It's just be like, and I'm gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm done. Oh, is that I, a nuke? I'm going to turn into a roach. You know? <laughs> I'm going to survive this. <laughs> <laughs> but and then te- being able to teleport anywhere it Bro, was just when I when I seen the movie Jumper I that said, that was my thing too that blew my mind and 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 then a consolation prize out of those like let's say those didn't work out and it was uh-huh. like okay you got to pick one I would say the ability to fly and I'm gonna tell you what I would do mm-hmm. my business would be to take people <laughs> personally where they need to go. And I'd fly, I'd charge them super dumb prices. Like, okay, so you heard of, you know, private jets. Yeah. Well, that private jet's got to land at an airport. Mm-hmm. Nah, not I'm when you travel you with Fly Bear. Man, not with Fly Bear J67. <laughs> I'm taking you to the doorstep where you got to go. Right like, to the spot. Got you. Let's go. I could ring the doorbell for uh, you, too. Like, that's <laughs> crazy. But that, you know, that's just a, a practical superhero yeah, man. ability. Being a, but, but, but seeing Jumper, though, and it just sat there and it blew my mind because I couldn't even imagine, bro, looking at a magazine like, oh, man, that place looks dope. There. I could, I could, I, me, I think the reason why I wouldn't do, I, I guess because I'm patient enough to be like, oh, I'll just turn into a bird and fly there. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just fly there. Just give me the location. Right. I can just fly. But being able to teleport to school because or to teleport anywhere you want is cool because it's more like and then I think was that the show they had to see it before they can go there or was that I want to say he had to see it okay yeah. and then he created like doorway kind of like portals yeah. yeah um that's dope to me because you can go anywhere like like you can get out of any situation yeah you would literally be be flashed like, yeah I'm there Gone. I'm out of there like you know Gone. what I'm saying and you can and nobody could stop you nope Nobody could st- unless they have like a task force like in jumper. Like in jumper. Yeah, that Man. was crazy. You know, you know what you know what show handled that in a really good way, teleportation? Um, and it's actually still ongoing. Have you watched The Magicians? No. Okay, anybody out there who got Netflix and I know you got Netflix, mm-hmm. take some time watch The Magicians. I I was always weary of watching it because I never read any reviews or anything, just kind of seen it. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be cheesy as hell. Dude, it's an imagine Harry Potter with real life adult drama and blood, gore, and murder. Yeah. It is intense. Really? Bro, intense. Well, there's a guy on there. He can teleport, but teleportation is one of the most dangerous magical powers you could possibly have. Um, and Why is that? Because... Like he said, he the the guy training was like, "What if you have a wet dream and you over here and teleport inside a damn volcano, and then you kill yourself?" Yeah. And he was like, "When you don't control, if you don't have complete mastery of this ability, you are a liability to you and everyone around you." Mm. He even uh, most people who have that ability through history in that show in that world, they get a tattoo and it's basically an anchor and it's a spell that anchors them to where they can only teleport through their mind, mm. so they can only mentally. And spirit be there. Okay. They body stay. They yeah, and they get tattoos and brands to protect themselves, so their body, so they don't kill themselves through teleportation. Really? Yeah. You would have to be a happy motherfucker, man, all the time. Like you would have to be. You would have to always have a smile on your face. Like, yeah. You getting your ass whooped having a smile. On your man, face. could you imagine just like having that weird thought? Oh man, I want to be here. And just you're just there. There. You know, <laughs> like I can't, I, bro. But it, but the show outside of teleportation, the show is overall amazing. I recommend everybody watch The Magicians. Okay. It's dope. If you loved Harry Potter and you like any of those other dramas, Harry, Harry if you loved Harry Potter, bro, you will love The Magicians because it takes an adult, not so whimsical theme. Mm-hmm. It puts real life problems within magic. Oh, really? Yeah. So, but, yeah. no, it makes it it makes it almost like normal. Yeah. Well, I was not about to bash on the show. I was about to bash on the adults who don't have an imagination. Yeah. Oh man, like, I hate that. Come dude. on, man. Like you're like you got to understand that you have you having a creative mind and having an imagination about things is not a bad thing. Nope. Like, 
Come on, man. Grow the hell up, man. Right. Ask me at least. Man. Right? Grow up. Man, be it. <laughs> Telling fun. me to grow You grow up. You grow up, man. Understand it's okay to have an imagination, man. Yeah. Shh, but I, um, what was the other show? We, oh, DBZ. Uh, so, uh, DBZ. DBZ Super's out. Now, I haven't watched all of them, but I did watch the most recent one. And that's the one that we've been seeing the meme about uh, Jaren. Or actually, I'm sorry, the one before this. This is 124 was the one about Jaren. 125 is the meme on Frieza getting destroyed. <laughs> now, what's so funny is, I, me personally, I'm a terrible nerd. Uh -huh. I haven't watched any of Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, because there's so much there's so, out there. There's so like, much TV. There's so, so much, much stuff out there. I mean, I'm watching so many different shows. And, and it's, it's 125 episodes, Thank man. you. I don't fault nobody fault you. So let me explain there you the freezer thing with you first. So uh so far we're at a point there there's a competition going on and it's between two un universes. And I think it's universe seven and the universe eleven. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh in the comments. And they're they're trying to uh last universe standing pretty much wins. Well free uh it's you got Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Super Saiyan Blue, Blue Goku up against this guy named Jiren who does not take attacks. Like, Jiren is the new Chuck Norris. For you guys that are uh, Chuck Norris fans, go look up Jiren. Jiren is the new Chuck Norris. <laughs> the guy had a race with time and time is still running. <laughs> that, that was one of the things. That was one. Of the, so, well, uh, so there. Uh, they're they're fighting a bunch. They're fighting up against. They're going up against guys that they just cannot beat. Like th this is the first time where there's nothing they could do. Like there's no secret power. They've gone like Goku's gone Super Saiyan Blue times ten KO Ken, and he can't do nothing. And it's just it is what it is. Like they, he this is how bad it is. They're flying at him. He's walking towards them. He's just accepting. He's just movement. walking towards him. They can't hit him. He can't do nothing. And he's buff as hell. <laughs> this alien is buff. He's yoked. And he's just, ba he looks basic. You pointed that out. Yeah, I've seen pictures of Jaren. Jaren he, looks He looks like the basic, most basic drawn yeah, he, enemy he, on he Earth. He don't look like nothing. He just looked like, he looked like, like he, he, he looks like a B-roll character. Yeah, and but he's out there whooping the ass, and they can't hit him. Well, this specific 125 episode is about Frieza and one of the guys that they're fighting from that universe. He he was a guy that's about justice, right? And um, he he was a candidate to become a god of destruction. Well, uh, he gets Frieza gangs up on him when him and Android uh, 18 are having a battle, or. Yes, Android 18. They're having a battle, and Frieza gangs up on him and starts throwing energy balls as he's in an energy blast battle with Android 18. And as they're shooting, he's hitting them from the back with the beams, and he's just taking it. Well, Frieza throws a, a massive beam at him. Android 18's beam, they both collide, hit him, tear his ass up, and they thought he was over, but he was still standing. And it, all it says is it zooms in close on his like his mouth area and he goes, I know what I have to do. And he starts powering up uh -huh. and he turns purple uh -huh. and he becomes a god of destruction. He gets the power of a god of destruction. And you got all the people watching like, oh, no. Uh, Jiren hears and he goes, his name was Topo or Tapo. And he goes, Tapo, you've accepted it. <laughs> And it just it literally he starts he starts generating purple it purple and black energy balls and saying destroy and these beams is flying at people flying android 18 is running from him um frieza gets hits with one but frieza mistake was because she was able to hold one before <clears throat> she thought she could hold catch this one and it destroyed her but she's so frieza's a girl I thought Frieza was a girl. Oh, I think am I am I bugging? I don't know. I, I don't know. Thank. I Frieza. think we might be dealing with a real chick. Yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta explain. I, I thought I Frieza was a chick the whole nah, time. I think Frieza's a dude, bro. Really? Yeah. Lord, Lord Frieza. I guess yeah. I'm wrong. Well, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. Yeah, Cause she Frieza. she has a she <laughs> has a super <laughs> Frieza. The let me not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Frieza has a um. Has a another another form now where she goes gold. 
Anyway, <laughs> Frieza goes gold. Wait, oh yeah, I do. I remember all the memes was like, oh, so Frieza yeah. is a super saiyan now. Yeah, and well, but it's funny when I used that. Wait, I used that serious beef for Frieza because he was out there calling everybody monkeys. Like, <laughs> hey, but did you know? Did you know? And I just learned. I just it probably was said before, but I just learned it. Um, Frieza had uh, took in a bunch of the Super Saiyans into the arm into yeah his what, or her army yeah, that yeah. she had he, <laughs> whatever he had Frieza's a man dude okay Frieza's a man whatever alright so into his army and what he does is um, he, he cuts their tail off yeah so they can't transform yeah and uh that and so when when Raddit or not Raditz when uh they meet they run into new they run into a new group of Saiyans from a different universe and he was like, yeah, you look like the ones from uh, Lord Frieza's um, army. And he was like, Frieza, what? They, they're they from a universe totally opposite from the Super Saiyans from this universe. Like, they don't capture planets and destroy planets. Oh, they're they all save peaceful. planets. Oh, and, yeah. Got so, it. yeah. Also, oh, is that where all those female um, Super Saiyans came from? That the one, the first one that we're introduced to is one from that planet. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's so yeah. Basically, Frieza gets dis- destroyed, and then you see all of the memes where the dude's holding her face, holding his face. Whatever, man. I, I don't. I, this whole time, my whole Dragon Ball Z life, I, life, I thought Frieza was a chick, man. <clears throat> Sound like a chick if you ask me. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Frieza gets destroyed, oh, and um. <laughs> Let's take a break on that because you got to realize how progressive that would have had to be back in what the '90s, watching a grown, uh, blonde-haired, buff-ass white dude. Well, white is in portrayal because of the blonde. Hair, yeah, beating the snot out of a, a female alien. It was a super 20- strong ass alien. <laughs> He had to use a. He had to use a. a that, that's still one of the longest. That is the longest fight scene. It has scene. to be the it, longest fight it scene. It is ever. the longest anime fight scene ever. It has and to be. To see a man beating up on a female or woman for that long for 20 years. Man, as a episodes, kid, you thinking about that? You're not thinking about that until just now. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you got to think. No, I'm talking about even back then for the adults, how progressive that would have been. Yeah, but think it's about a how super long it, alien. Oh, but you think know, about this one. You know, no, 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 What no, was no. the first female major fighter in uh, DBZ? Pan? I would have thought it was Frieza. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would thought it was Frieza. I want to say it was Pan. No. You're talking about super villain or hero? No, just period. And you could say Android. Oh yeah, my bad. Android, Android 17. seventeen. My bad. Android seventeen. But think, about, but think of how they got away with that. She's a robot. Yeah, but still, <laughs> she's a robot that can have babies. Well, that's because man, you don't remember. Come yeah, on, okay. I'm just saying. Regardless, she was an Android, even though she was wished back as a human. So no one cares. So a chick. <laughs> I'm just saying. You gotta then listen. And you, but you know what makes it. You know what makes it more believable. Uh, the yeah, fact Lord that Lord Frieza's a girl. Lord Frieza. <laughs> Damn near killed everybody. Yeah. Lord Frieza was destroying everybody. Destroyed Goku. Yeah. Goku spirit bomb couldn't kill her. Yeah. She her. caught it. She got it. And went like thirty feet into the earth <laughs> and came back. Yeah. I'm just saying she was Frieza was destroying everybody. So I mean, what are you gonna Google it? Google it. I swore Frieza I swore up and down Frieza was a chick, man. And I, <laughs> Why would they give Frieza that voice? <laughs> what does it say? Oh my god! Oh my god! And if oh. somebody plays the voice as Frieza, that's a chick. It's uh, she's a well, chick. Well, most likely we already know. Okay, so she's a chick. <laughs> it's an alien. She ain't got no private parts. There's no way we can tell. <laughs> they lying. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Gender male. Frieza race, a hybrid mutant. She's a mutant. She's <laughs> she's seven hundred and seven or eighty four years old. I can't breathe, bro. He said, "Yeah, she's over here." She's an to... agent of destruction. Why you keep saying she? And it clearly says. <laughs> I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. For those who didn't know, Freezer, Lord Frieza, is the male. <laughs> I man, I didn't know that. It's gonna be hard. That's that's like ten years of caught thinking she, he's a chick. Can you stop laughing at me, please? This is not funny. 
This is very tech. Oh, I am very man. destroyed right now. Oh my god, man! I've been a DBZ fan from day Dude, one. Dude, let me tell you how drastic that has to be. That the is- best comparison I got is when I barely realized that Craig's ex on uh, on Friday there was a dude in the bed while she was going off asking about where Craig was. There's a guy in the bed with her. And I, I, my that. mom had to point that out to me. She was like, "You didn't know? You didn't see the guy in the bed when she's on the phone talking about my baby cousin, sister, brother, da 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 da." Said yeah. she's seen you with da da da. There's a man laying in the bed next to her, bro. Didn't know that. Yes. So basically, telling me my see my life is destroyed. <laughs> Why can't I just go back to being a kid, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's everything's just all torn apart. I'm done, man. I am. Finished. I'm. I'm Joe Button done. <laughs> Next time on <laughs> Adventures of the Black Nerds, will yeah, that's crazy. XT Jones, now known as T Jones, come back? Will Baron J Six Seven stop laughing? <laughs> Shut your will ass. Freezer be announced as a woman? <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, man. Listen, listen. I'm over that. So, other than me learning that the Freezer is a chick. Uh, I mean, a man. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm. This is this is years of being destroyed mentally. <laughs> Folks, on that note, this is Baron J Six Seven. I'm X C Jones, man. And this is as usual. I'm not X. <laughs> as usual, this is a wonderful adventure. <laughs> I'm happy to do this with y'all, and I'm so thankful for y'all listening. Y'all make sure to subscribe, follow us on all our individual channels, Baron J67, uh, XT Jones on all platforms. All platforms. Everything's in the description. It'll below. be in the description, man. And y'all have a good one. Much love. Peace out.